Yo, what is going on guys? Psycho Trace here and today I'm bringing you guys a different type of video than what you're all probably used to seeing. But as you guys can tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video, it's going to be how to hook the Elgato up to the Xbox One a review and giveaways in the future. So stick around longer to get a little more information about the giveaway part. But uh, so recently I got Team Cycle sponsored by Elgato and they asked me if I could make this video and they were kind enough to send me a free Elgato to do that. So thank you to Elgato for sending me one. Um, now, getting right into it, as you guys can see, I already have taken everything out of the Elgato box just to make it easy to show you guys. And here's the Elgato itself. It's very small, as you guys can see. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's about the size of an iPhone. And when you do compare it to an HD PVR, it is about a quarter of the size of the HD PVR. Um, there's four cores in total that it comes with, and that's maximum like, to use on the Elgato. And for the Xbox One, we only need to use three. So it takes up a lot less space compared to the HD PVR, which had like 20 cores that you had to use and stuff like that. Um, once you have purchased an Elgato obviously it comes in a box like this and then you just pull off the case here and on the back of the case it shows you some cool features that the Elgato does, some technical specifications and some sister room kinds you ha need to have on your computer and Xbox and stuff like that I guess but uh, yeah so that's just the case then here's the box itself when you open it up the Elgato will be right here and then underneath it will be the cords you just lift this up and the cords will come out and then on this side is where the get started will be and on the get started guys it just has links to their website and stuff like that where you need to download the program to start recording and then on the back it shows you how to hook it up to the PS3 and the Xbox 360 but I'm going to show you guys how to do that or hook it up to the Xbox One now the four cords that it comes with I have the two cords you won't need to use on the right here and then the two cords you will need to use on the left here now the cords on the right we have for the PS3 so we obviously don't need to use this one at all and then we have the component cables or whatever for the Xbox 360 that you could use. And then the two cords on the re or left here, we have the USB cord that you obviously need to hook up to your computer and stuff like that to get it to record. And then an HDMI cord, which uh, you're probably thinking, well, don't you, won't you need another one? Uh, the Xbox One supplies another HDMI cord, so that's pretty much set for you guys. But uh, yeah, now a little bit more information about the Elgato giveaway parts. Um, so just be sure to follow Team Psycho and Elgato on Twitter. I'll have the links in the description for you guys. Um, we will probably be doing giveaways on that. Not too many guys because we can't just continuously hand out free Elgatos because they do cost money to make. But uh, just be sure to follow us on that. We will be doing giveaways and uh, just stay active. Um, and that's pretty much it you got to do for the giveaways. When Team Psycho gets 200k, we're getting pretty close to that. Uh, we're getting, getting pretty subscribers pretty quick now. So when we do hit 200k, we will do a huge giveaway. Uh, there will probably be some Elgatos in there for you guys to win. So hopefully you guys do like that just be sure to leave a like and a comment on this video so we now know that you guys do want to see some Elgato giveaways on Twitter and stuff like that uh, but before we switch over to how to hook it up to the Xbox One I want to tell you guys some cool features that the Elgato does uh, when you do um, download the program and hook it all up guys you can live stream straight to Twitch and YouTube if you have either of those accounts once you open up the program so it's very simple to live stream obviously some other cool features is when you do open up the program it will start like live recording for you even though you're technically not recording and if you do close it it won't automatically save but if you it will live record like I said when you are playing and if you end up do hitting something cool you can go back in time to an hour I think it is and you record where that clip where you hit that clip and then you can just cut it to where you want it to end and it'll go right back to live recording and then once you close it it'll save the little clip that you had and then it'll just delete the rest of the useless gameplay part it also records in 1080p right off the bat so as pretty awesome and get, gives you great quality and stuff like that but uh, now we're just going to switch over and show you guys how to hook it up to the Xbox One alright guys so setting it up on the Xbox One is very simple it's simple as to the Xbox 360 now obviously the Elgato comes with a USB stick and a HDMI cord with it and then the Xbox One comes with another HDMI cord now with the first HDMI cord it doesn't matter which one you use you just will see HDMI in right above this spot here. I know you can't see it. But with this one, you're just going to run it right to your Xbox. And I have mine right here. It's the second farthest one to the left. Right above the spot, it will say HDMI out. Just plug it into there. I know you guys can't really see it because I have a black desk, so it blends in. But then once you have done this, on the other side of the Elgato, it will say HDMI out. With this one, you're just going to plug it in there and then run it all the way over to your TV to wherever you have an HDMI output or whatever you want to call it and just plug it into there. And once you've done this, now you use the USB stick or the cord that comes with the Elgato and plug it into the spot where it says USB right above the spot and then just run it all the way over to your computer and then plug it into wherever you have that. Now once you've done this, you just go to Elgato.com and download their software. As you guys can see right now, I have it open. Sorry if it's a little blurry or anything. But uh, the first time you open it, it'll probably say you need to fix your settings right where my mouse is. So all you want to do is just click on the settings things that it will save for you and then if not, just click on the little toolbar that you guys see where I just clicked from. 
Once you've done this, just make sure your input device is set on other. I think it is a default to 360. Just put it on other because then it will show up. When I, have it, when I have it on 360, nothing shows up. It's just a black screen, so I use it on other. Have your input on HDMI and then profile 1080p. And then you can just really mess around with any other settings you guys wish to have. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Once you've done this, you've hooked up the Elgato to the Xbox One and you can start recording right away. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Be sure to go check out Elgato. I'll have the links in the description for you guys to go buy the products. And yeah, guys, once again, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'm out. Peace.